Hello, I'm Tim Durham with Durham's Bee Farm. This video is going to be different than any I've ever made. This video is for the purpose of asking you if you have a question that you would like for me to answer, send it to me and I'm going to show you how. And in about two weeks, I'm going to make a video uh, and that video will be will consist of answering uh, hopefully every question that is sent to me just one question please and try to keep it as concise as you can because I'm going to read it and then answer it uh, uh, now in these videos I don't pretty up I'm not a I'm not an English major. I'm not apologizing for it, but uh, the purpose is, is to help beekeepers. So if the video isn't perfect and I, I don't, uh, uh, I was dyslexic, so I didn't do good in school and I didn't go to college. So, uh, uh, and in in this video in in two weeks, I am going to mention. Uh, one of the people that was so nice to send me a funny that I could use at the end of my video and laughter uh, uh, is the best medicine uh, I think of myself not being a serious guy so uh, the the person that I mentioned on the in the video uh, I can only mention one and uh, kind of the best one sort of and I'm going to send them this envelope uh, it's got the, uh, the 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 bee stamp on it the only one that was made and the postage back then was 15 cents I'd have to research and see what year that was made but I'm going to I'm going to send them that and also I want to take this opportunity to uh, 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 in one of my videos a year or two ago or whatever, I asked people if they had a a, uh, a flip camera, uh, if if they're not using it, they sent it to me because they they stopped making them and it's real simple, it's easy, I love it. And uh, so three people sent me a camera and I think it was Brian out of Canada. Forgive me if I don't mention all three names. And... and uh, uh, he uh, he paid for the postage, didn't ask for a penny, and they all three of them donated the camera. So, and and, and I, one of the boxes was this little tripod. I'm gonna use this t today in, in making this video. That's cute as a bug's ear. Now, uh, uh, I'm gonna show you how to uh, send the comment in case you don't know how. So here we go. This happens to be the last video I made, and I'm going to show you how to send me a comment or a question. So I'm going to arrow down, and right under the video, I'm going to do a close-up here. Right under the video, you will see a thumbs up. Of course, I like them, and I've got uh, three thumbs down. You know, you can't please everybody. All right, underneath... The, the thumbs up and the thumbs down, you will see subscribe. Now, I'm going to click on this, and when you click on subscribe, then there is a little bell beside that. If you click on that bell, then YouTube will send you an email the next time that I make a video and publish the video. And you see the thumbs up. Alright, now we're going to go down here to the left and you'll see right here where it says add a public comment. And then uh, uh, you, you simply uh, click on that and start typing your your question or comment. And then when you do that this uh, button here, this comment button to, over here on the right, it will it will lighten up, and then you can click on that and send it. 
So that's how simple it is. And I hope y'all send in some questions. I am going to read you uh, two uh, questions, comments that were sent me just recently. This one yesterday. And I'm not a good reader, but we'll, go, we'll try to go right on through it. Uh, Peter from Australia. And thank you for, by the way, everybody tell where you're from. And it, it can make a big difference uh, in, in my answer. Uh, we're in Zone 7, uh, close to, we're in the, uh, the northwest corner of Mississippi. Uh, I call it upstate Mississippi, like those folks up in New York do. Uh, Peter from Australia. Enjoy your videos. Easy to understand. Question for you. That is the best. When is the best time to do a walk away split? Our seasons are different to yours. Uh, so what is the best time? Spring, winter, autumn, or winter? Don't have cold winters here. Never, never get snow. Hope to hear from you and take care. Uh, now, uh, this. So let me just read my reply. Um, glad you told me you're from Australia, as I do not want to uh, tell you wrong. Maybe you mean to. Maybe you mean to carry the split portion off two miles when you say walk away split. Now, people from other countries, they may speak a little different. And up here, he said, when I do a walk away split. So I think he means split the hive and carry it off, walk away. Um, since your climate is so different than ours, I am guessing, uh, now this is my reply to him, uh, I'm guessing that your bees go through a, a time period which they slow down as ours uh, really slow down in the fall and winter. If you have a slow down period, then I am thinking uh, you would do your split when the bees are coming out of that time period and start to build up, like you know, like ours do in the spring here. After they after they build up enough, and that means have a lot of have enough bees in the hive, then split them so they so they will have as much time possible to build up. Uh, you know, before the next slowdown period. In our case, it would be by fall. Now I'm gonna go down here and uh, read one more, uh, Tim. Uh, how do I add uh, more bees to my nook box without killing the queen? Uh, and and here's the answer I gave. Good question. If you happen to have some honeybee healthy, spray sugar syrup with the honeybee healthy in it. The, the, the problem with that is you do not want robbing started. Smoke them heavily, and another uh, uh, choice would be smoke them heavily, uh, uh, and and that will that will probably take care uh, uh, of the situation. It will mask over their their odors. Uh, if dry if dry leaves would produce uh, more of an more of an odor than pine straw, and I think that is the case, uh, use dried leaves. Because, you know, when you smell dried leaves, they, they, produce, a, 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 they produce an odor, uh, which I think is, is a good odor. Um, if, something could be, if something could be put in the smoker to give off an odor, that would be good. You know, in case, uh, but of course, something that wouldn't hurt the bees. All right. Uh, uh, I'm going to uh, 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 let me read one more real quick. Uh, I caught a second swarm a week ago, and I'm trying to feed them some sugar syrup. Now this was written six days ago, so I don't I don't know where he's located his climate. I caught my second swarm uh, uh, a week ago, and I'm trying to feed them some sugar syrup. Uh, with an entrance reducer feeder, but s someone else's bees are trying to rob the feeder, so I took it off. 
uh, do you know of another way to feed them in the nook besides putting a, a frame of honey inside the hive? Uh, I feel I feel I should do that. Uh, they're just uh, they're just robbing the honey. Uh, and here was my answer. You must not, must not be sloppy and drip the honey or sugar syrup uh, outside the hive. Once Robbie gets started, you will not be able to stop it. And that is true. I have tried many times. Uh, place a three-quarter inch plywood on top of the hive cutting a round hole in it so a mason jar uh, will fit snug in it and not fall through and not let any bees uh, crawl through beside it. Uh, that is the best way to feed them. Alright, I hope this helps you and let me know if you send me your questions. Alright, if you have a funny, uh, send it to me. If it's a knee slapper, um, maybe you mail it to me in the mail so nobody else will see it and uh, then I can I can use it uh, and uh, but uh, uh, let me tell you uh, now this this is real this, this isn't a joke this is real uh, uh, Mr. Hobby uh, was in a, a Sunday school class I'm 75 and uh, uh, he was up in his years, and he was in his Sunday school class, and uh, he's all old men, you know, and the Sunday school teacher, uh, uh, they were all talking about heaven and how wonderful it's going to be and everything, and so everybody uh, talked about it and what the Bible says about heaven and how wonderful it's going to be, and, and uh, the Sunday school teacher said, uh, if you want to go to heaven, Raise your hand. Well, everybody in the class raised their hand, but Mr. Hobby didn't raise his hand. So they went on discussing it, how wonderful it's going to be. And the Sunday school teacher, he was a little uh, taken back. Mr. Hobby didn't raise his hand. And so, uh, again, the Sunday school teacher said, uh, uh, if everybody here wants to go to heaven, raise your hand. And <laughs> Mr. Hobby, Mr. Hobby didn't raise his hand again. So uh, the Sunday school teacher, he just he, he he couldn't stand it. He said, "Mr. Hobby said uh, 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 said uh, why 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 didn't you raise your hand?" Mr. Hobby said, "Well, said I thought you was trying to get a bus load up going today." <laughs> he said, "I don't want to go today." <laughs> And so, but that 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 really happened, and f about four weeks later, Mr. Hobby went to heaven. So, anyhow, y'all have a good day, and let me hear from you.